Hello everyone, welcome again in another video. High FPS is useless if you can't spot the target, and high visibility is useless if your game stutters. So, you need the perfect balance, and in this video, we're trying to fix PUBG and get the optimal settings and the perfect ones. So, let's dive in. With highlights auto capture, make sure you disable this one. Like if you have low GPU because it will consume your resource, you can do it manually from the keyboard if you use it. And for display mode, if you like borderless, go with it or windowed. Or if you want to use all your screen refresh rate, make sure you use the full screen. For the resolution, you go with the full HD resolution. For my case, I use this one because I have a bigger screen. For the low FPS cap, I cap it at 60 FPS. For the in-game FPS, unlimited. This one disabled. The brightness, prefer to use 75. And that's it. And now let's go to the advanced options for the render scale. For the render scale, keep it at 100. Unless you have like a low GPU, you can reduce it just a little bit, maybe to 85, because it's gonna make your game look blurry. So maybe 95 or 100. For the FOV, I'm sure you want the maximum to see all the enemies to have a great perspective. For the overall graphics quality, it's gonna be custom because we're gonna do some changes over here. For the first one, I use medium. For the post processing, I use low. If you have any drop FPS or unstable gameplay, you can make it low for the anti-aliasing. Now for the shadows, make sure it's very low. For the textures, low. Effects, the effects, low. Foliage, low. And view distance, low. The more you increase this value, the more your game will become unstable. and because it's gonna start processing a lot of uh, objects far away from you, so you don't need this one. The sharpen, it's about your choice. For me, I prefer to do it as enabled, because as you see over here, it makes the game looks a little bit better. Yeah. For the V-Sync, make sure it's disabled. Motion blur, of course, disabled. And for direct X version, don't use DirectX 12 because this is an old game and it was well optimized with DirectX 11. DirectX 11 enhanced. So you can try, for your case, you can try DirectX 11 if those settings will not work for you. And also, as I said before, try to, to reduce the anti-aliasing to low if these settings didn't give you the performance you're looking for. In general, after testing these settings and the gameplay, I'm getting an average of 100 FPS to 140, but I locked my FPS to 105 because like it's the average value and I don't like the drop FPS. For the gameplay settings, make sure you disable inventory character render because it causes an, an unstable gameplay. For the color and blind mode, I prefer the, this one, it's more visible. For the crosshair color, I use a custom one, I set the red to zero and the blue to zero, that's it, I have a green crosshair. And for Nvidia 3D settings, after testing the PUBG settings in game and uh, you have to check like what's the average FPS for your case and try to fix it over here. For my case it's 105, press OK and apply. Another thing for better visibility of uh, for enemies, go to just desktop color settings and increase the digital vibrance. By default it's 50, increase it to 65 or to 70. I keep it at 65. Also make sure to add uh, PUBG in the graphics perform preference. I'm gonna browse for the file. It's this one. GSL game. Choose it. I already have it here. Go to options and make sure it's high performance. Save and you're good to go.
And now I'm gonna chest those syrinx uh, casual mode. So that covers the PUBG PC settings. If you need NVIDIA and Windows settings optimization for performance and stability, check out PC optimization part 2 on my channel. It was for Battlefield 6, but works also for other games. I'm gonna leave the link in the comments. Thanks for watching.